In their Melbourne home, Trinity Delonce and her mum Stevie reminisce. Ah, oh, that's for State Squad. These symbols of triumph belie a traumatic past. Trinity says intense training eventually led to broken vertebra and she had to give up the sport at 12. They have like a way of controlling you coaches. They do things, the yelling, the screaming, the punishments for things that you're not comfortable doing. Last year, a review of gymnastics exposed a culture of abuse dating back decades. An investigation followed and more recent complainants were interviewed, but the investigation couldn't substantiate many of the claims. A handful of complainants like Trinity were invited to a reconciliation meeting with Gymnastics Australia, but they've been asked to sign non-disclosure agreements. You can maybe have some restoration, a conversation with us, but it all has to be secret. Donna Louise Wilson alleges her daughter was psychologically abused by her coach for months. They're not of an age of understanding to be signing an NDA. So it is, first of all, illogical, it's offensive. In my view, an NDA in these circumstances serves no useful purpose other than to add insult to injury. I acknowledge that the non-disclosure agreements may have been unsettling for some families, but I want to assure that is not the intent whatsoever. It truly and really is about providing safe spaces for those to discuss really intimate and personal experiences. The former gymnasts say their abuse claims haven't been acknowledged. So we are not done. The families are considering legal action. Tom Maddox, ABC News.